Hi kids, I'm Chris, and this is Leroy. Let me show you. Say hi, Leroy. Say hi, turn around. Say hi. And that's Jinx. Yes, say hi. Yes, and we're going to read to you. I have to introduce them because they might get a little loud as I try to read the story to you. They usually want to get their toys as I'm reading. Let's hope they don't get too loud because today I would like to read to you the little engine that could. It's a library book. So let's see, can we read the story to the kids? Let's do that, okay? The little engine that could. Kinda looks like Thomas the Train, doesn't it? Oh, yes, do you like that? So we're gonna read this. Chug, 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 puff, puff, puff. Ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train, wasn't she, Leroy? Yes, she was. You like that train, Leroy? Do you like the train? Leroy likes the train. Do you like the train? Oh yes, it's a very nice train. It has a number seven on it, doesn't it? It's a very nice train. Oh, for she had such a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled full of good things for boys and girls. There were toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant, Leroy, a baby elephant. Oh, then there were dolls, dolls with blue eyes. What color are your eyes? And yellow curls, and guess what? Not just blue eyes, dolls with brown eyes like mine. Are your eyes brown or blue or green? And brown bobbed heads and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. Look at that little toy clown. Can you see that? you see that toy clown? Oh, isn't that neat? Oh, and there were cars full of toy engines, airplanes, tops, jackknives, picture puzzle books, and every kind of things boys or girls could even want. Let's look there. What do we see? Oh my goodness, I see a boat. What do you see on that picture? Do you see an aeroplane? What else do you see? Oh, I see good things on that picture. Okay. Well, guess what? That wasn't all. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys or girls to eat. Like big golden oranges and red-cheeked apples and bottles of creamy milk for their breakfast and even fresh spinach for their dinners and peppermint drops and lollipops for some after-meal treats. Do you love spinach, like Popeye? And do you love milk? And how about a great juicy orange or an apple? Oh, that looks good. Leroy loves apples. That's one of his favorite treats. It's one of his favorites. The little train was carrying all of these wonderful things. He has his toy. I'm gonna ask him to give me that. Come here, Leroy. Come here. Leroy, come here. Bring me your toy. Let's show the children. Let's show the children what your toy looks like. Give it here. See, he's playing with a ball. I'm gonna take that right now so we can listen to the book. The train was carrying all of these wonderful things for the little girls and boys on the train on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily, then all of a sudden she stopped with a jerk. She simply could not go another inch. She tried and she tried, but her wheels would not turn. Look at that. She tried, but they would not turn. Do you see those wheels on there? She tried. And do you hear who else is trying? Leroy went and tried again. He got another toy. He's just like the little train. When one thing doesn't work, he tries another. He's learning a lesson just like the little train, the little engine that could. What were all those little Good girls and boys on the other side of the mountain going to do without all the wonderful toys to play with and the good food to eat. Here comes a shiny new engine, said the funny little clown who jumped out of the train. Let's ask him to help us. So all the doll dolls and all the toys, they cried out together. Do you see them all there? What do you see? Tell me what's on that page. What do you see there? Do you see the clown? 
Do you see this shiny new engine? What color is the new engine? What color is it? I think it's the color of Leroy. It's kind of golden. But what color is the engine that could? That engine was blue, wasn't it? Please, shiny new engine, won't you please pull over our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and the girls on the other side, they won't have any new toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. <gasps> the teddy bear and the elephant and the monkey and the children and the clown, they're asking the shiny new train, will you please help us? They need some help to get over the hill, don't they? They're all asking for help, aren't they? They want to go over the mountain, don't they? But the shiny new engine snorted, I pull you? I am a passenger engine. I have carried a fine big train over the mountain with more cars than you have ever dreamed of. My train had sleeping cars with comfortable berths, a dining car where waiters bring hungry people whatever they want to eat, and a parlor car in which people sit in soft armchairs and they look out of big plated glass windows. I pull the likes of you? Indeed not. Oh, how dare I do that? I am too big and fancy to pull the likes of you. Indeed not. This shiny, fancy, big engine doesn't want to pull the children and the toys. And guess what? Off. He steamed to the roundhouse where the engines live and they are not busy. And he just left the children behind. He left them right there. Look at that. How sad the little train and all the dolls and the toys felt. They're all sitting there, they're so sad. And then the little clown called out, the passenger engine. It's not the only one in the world. There's another engine coming, a great big strong one. Let us ask him to help us out. The little toy clown waved his flag and the big strong engine came to a stop. Oh, look at him. Oh, that's a big strong engine, isn't it? That's a big, strong engine. Look at it, made of iron and steel. Do you see it? Ooh, look at that. The clown is waving his flag. Do you see him? What color is his flag? Is it red? And he's saying, please, please, please. Oh, please, big engine. Do you see him waving his flag? Right there. Do you see him waving the flag? And he says, oh, please, please, big engine, cried all the dolls and the toys. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine is broken down and the good little boys and the girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the big strong engine bellowed, I am a freight engine. I've just pulled a big train loaded with big machines over the mountain. These machines, they print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I am very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. <gasps> look, and look at all the toys and the animals. They're standing there. And what does he do? What do you think happens? What do you think happens? <gasps> the freight engine, he pulled away. He indignantly left to the roundhouse and the little train and all the dolls and the toys, they were very sad. Cheer up, cried the little toy clown. The freight engine is not the only one in the world. Here comes another. He looks very old and very tired. But our little train is so little, perhaps he can help us. So the little toy clown waved his flag and the dingy, Rusty, oh, look at all the rust on there. Old train, the engine stopped. And they said, please kind engine, cried all the dolls and the toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine is broken down and all the boys and the girls on the other side, 
They won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the rusty old engine sighed. <gasps> that rusty old engine sighed. And he says, I'm so tired. Oh, do you see the rusty old engine? He sighed. And he says, I am so tired, I must rest. I have weary wheels. I cannot pull even a train as little as yours over the mountain. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Oh, I think he even wanted to, he wanted to help them, but he was so tired and so old and he said, I cannot. Oh, what are the children going to do? They're not going to get their toys or their food. And off he rumbled to the roundhouse, chugging, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. And then indeed the little train was very, very sad. And the dolls and the toys, they were ready to cry. But the little clown called out, here's another engine coming. I see another engine. Guess what? It's blue. It's very little. It's just a little tiny engine. Oh, it's a very little one. Maybe she will help us. The very little engine. Do you see it? It's little. It's like Thomas, but it's a female engine. It's a girl. She came chugging along merrily. And when she saw the toy clown waving the flag, she stopped very quickly. See the toy clown waving the flag? And she stopped. What's the matter, my friends, she says. And she asked very kindly, Oh, little blue engine, cried the dolls and the toys, will you pull us over the mountains? Our engine is broken down, and the good boys and the girls on the other side, they don't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Please, please, can you help us? Oh, little blue engine, please, will you help us? I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. They use me only for switching the trains. I've never been over the mountain. But we must get over the mountain before the children awake, said the dolls and the toys. The very little engine looked up and they saw the tears in the doll's eyes. And they thought of the good little boys and girls just like you. Good little boys and girls just like you on the other side of the mountain who would not have any toys or good food unless she helped them. And then she said, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. And she hitched herself onto the little train. She connected right there and she tugged and she pulled and she tugged and she pulled and slowly and slowly and slowly they started off. And the toy clown jumped aboard right there, jumped right on, see that? And the toy clown and all the dolls and the toys, they began to smile and they cheered and they puffed and they chugged and they went on the little blue engine. And they said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, up and up and up, faster and faster and faster and faster, the little blue engine climbed and climbed until at last they reached the top of the mountain, <gasps> down in the valley by the city, hooray, hooray, cried the funny little clown and all the dolls and the toys. The good little boys and the girls in the city will be so happy because you helped us, you kind little blue engine. Look at that, they're climbing up the hill and then they're up at the top of the hill. Do you see that? Oh, what's going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? What do you think is going to happen? <gasps> Look what's happening right here. What is happening? Are those kids? And are those kids going to get to see? And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she steadily puffed down the mountain, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could, I thought I could. And look at the clown riding along. Yay, we're doing it. We did it. 
We did it! That's the end of the story. Just like Leroy with his toy. Because he thought he could too when he kept bringing me new toys, huh? I hope you guys like this book. It's a pretty good book, isn't it? Because if you keep trying, just like my friend Leroy, and he's gonna come back to get his toy, then you can keep playing, huh? And you can have all the good food and all the good toys when you keep trying. I hope you'll come back next time when we get to read another story. I think I can. I think I can. Hi, huh, Leroy. He thinks he can. He thinks he can too. Thanks for playing. Bye.